What's up? How are you guys this week? Another Monday down at Frankie's Free Range Meet. Another Monday of me not being kicked out on the street by the city of New York. So I guess that's good news, but let's start with some reviews. Hi, just wanted to let you guys know my first order arrived perfect. All items frozen solid as a rock. No thaw whatsoever, and everything looks wonderful and delicious. Great job getting it here way over in the tip of West Texas. Very fast service, and I love the ease and simplicity of ordering on the website. Sometime around the first week of September, I plan on also putting a couple more orders, one for eggs and another for meat, and I'm looking at some of the other items you have on the different websites. you got a regular customer here for sure, and I will let others know about your business too. Thank you so much for what you're doing. Greatly appreciated. We'll support as much as possible. God bless all. Thank you guys so much. I, re I really do appreciate uh, these test reviews, really what keeps me going um, with the business. Awesome, awesome eggs. Just want to let you guys know that last Friday I received my first order of eggs and they are beyond excellent. I'm so happy with them and I'm very impressed with their taste, particularly on the yolks, the best eggs I've ever had. And I was buying pastured eggs from Sprouts and these were noticeably better. In addition, the packaging was beyond fantastic as well. Super good job coming up with protective packaging for shipment. The timeline of delivery is wonderful. Love being able to see where the package is en route, very helpful. And I'm completely and totally satisfied with this product and your guys' service. We'll be ordering these regularly, probably once a month. All eggs arrive perfect. Thank you so much. Best wishes. Five star review for the pork share. Only tried the regular Italian sausages and they've been almost impossible to stop eating. Best sausages I've ever purchased. Definitely will be buying again. We'll definitely talk more about the shares and the eggs later in this video, but we have a decent amount going on this week. So let's take a look around. So we don't have that many orders this week and I only had two guys here working this morning, but we were able to do it anyway. So we got the eggs that are going out today. So if you guys haven't gotten your eggs yet, everything is going out today. Some of the meat orders here, and then we have another two pallets of meat orders here. Everything will be sent out today. Uh, we're also maybe a day or two behind on all of the foods orders. So if you guys have ordered water key for jerky, any of that stuff, it will be going out as well as the rest of the eggs orders that were placed yesterday. And I guess we'll do a reveal of the cookie label. These should be ready by the end of this week, guys. So keep an eye out on frankiesfreerangefoods.com for uh, Tatomi's Very Vegan Cookies. So the big deal this week is in the freezer. Starting with what will probably be the most popular one, we finally got beef testicles, guys. We've been selling goat, lamb, basically any animal testicle besides beef, but we finally got them. This is one testicle individually packaged, about 0.7 to 0.8 pounds. Now what's an even bigger deal is I was able to get my hands on all of the glands you guys would ever want. So we have beef pancreas, just one pancreas in the package, which is about half of a pound. And the female version of the uh, testicles, we have the ovaries that are packaged in half a pound. These are actually the most expensive one. And um, if you guys wanna see individual pictures, they're on the website, but th that's crazy guys. This is like 10, 10 cows worth of ovaries in one package. So definitely getting a bang for your buck if it's only $20. We also have the thymus gland, AKA the sweet breads. We've actually been selling uh, veal sweet bread. So this is something we've kind of had before, except it's all beef. This one's probably gonna be really popular too. We have the thyroid glands and there's actually no pictures of beef thyroid glands online, at least that I could find. So uh, ours might be the first, very hard to get. And the hardest one to find for me at least has been the adrenal glands. People have all these sort of uh, adrenal fatigue issues and they have so many important hormones that are very very difficult to get so i'm happy that we have um, adrenal glands now and everything guys is, is half pound packages with the exception of the beef testicles because they're a bit larger but we got plenty of this stuff guys it's very 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 affordable on the website you know you're getting raw glandulars that no, you can't even get them anywhere else online. So most of you guys know we have the freeze-dried glandulars on organsupplements.com and if I was able to get these in the first place I prefer this. It, it's not as convenient you know you're I mean you're basically eating raw meat and not everyone is you know open to doing that type of stuff but uh, we have those six products available now on frankiesfreerangemeat.com beef testicles, beef ovaries, pancreas, the thymus, which is the sweetbreads, the thyroid, as well as the adrenal glands. So really all of the six organs that you would ever want as glandulars. And then of course we do have, you know, liver, heart, kidney, all the other organs that are a bit more approachable. We're trying to get brains, but those are a little hard to 
uh, source, but w with this right now, I mean, to me, this is one of the biggest launches we've had on Frankie's Range Me just because I've been trying to get these for so, so long and hopefully uh, the supplier is consistent and reliable and we can provide this to you guys. Although I'm not too sure how much of this we're actually gonna sell. Um, the issue is, you know, these are kind of small. So when someone orders this, ideally it's with, you know, five or 10 pounds of meat so that it stays nice and cold and it's easy to ship. Uh, we got a new batch of chicken in guys, uh, chicken breast restock. And if you want a little bit of a discount, we do have the chicken share available, which is gonna be three whole chickens, six breast, six wings, and six drumstick. We ran out of caviar last week, but we got the salmon in, as well as the sturgeon caviar. Oh, in regards to the shares, we're kind of running out of everything. I, I know we have some hot dogs and some spiced beef sausages left, but for the most part, we, we've kind of gone through all the pork stuff, and uh, we're gonna have to restock very soon. Uh, we did put the Wagyu picanha on sale for around like $12 a pound, which is way, 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 way too cheap. So um, might have to change the price a little bit, but a couple of you guys have been picking that up already. And pet food, I'm not too optimistic about. Guys, please order just one or two of these. Don't order like 10 of them and then tell me your pet does not like it, which has happened already, despite me telling you guys this uh, before. Yeah, my Amish buddy has been bothering me to uh, make more hot dogs and sausages. So hopefully by the middle of this week, we have an idea of what's left and then we can organize what we want made for the next batch so it's a bit more balanced you know you guys aren't gonna get like five pounds of hot dogs it's gonna be maybe two or three pounds of a variety of different products uh, so we're gonna add uh, snack sticks which are just kind of like sausages but they're like a little harder and tinier and more convenient we'll have a plain one and we'll have like a cheddar cheese snack stick or something for the beef and we're also gonna add uh, beef scrapple which is gonna be a bit more variety which is basically just um, beef cooked down mixed with very high quality organic grains. I'm really looking forward to that. It's gonna be very, very healthy, very delicious. Uh, we might have some beef shank in next week. I know we've been selling lamb shank, but I think you guys are gonna like that a lot. Another like slow cooked, uh, great thing to braise, especially though with the colder months coming up. So I made a fresh batch of the fire roast ribeye as well as the roast beef for you guys. This is super delicious, rare, amazing. Some of you guys are ordering like 20 of these at a time, so um, people really love it. I've only gotten positive feedback on it, and uh, hopefully I'm not cooking roast beef until I'm 90 years old because I'm going to lose my mind. Uh, the reason some of the eggs were delayed is because we ran out of bubble wrap, but now we have enough bubble wrap to build a castle. So quick update on all the other businesses. Organ supplements, since we now have access to the frozen glandulars, we're going to do like a, a liquidation, uh, very, very reduced price on all the bovine powders. Uh, Wi-Fi shielding, everything's kind of in stock. Everything looks good. Uh, maybe we'll show you guys some more stuff. Of course, I'm always wearing my Wi-Fi shielding hat and I have full Wi-Fi shielding, long sleeve shirt, joggers, as well as the t-shirt and underwear on double layer to protect me from the New York radiation. Frankie's Naturals, everything's in stock as well, guys. We got the bug spray back. If you guys are trying to get your hands on some water kefir, we will have some back in stock tomorrow. Yeah, so we went to the housing court this morning. I finally found a lawyer that was willing to represent me in this case. So it looks like that's gonna be delayed at least a few months more we have in this space uh, without having to worry about getting completely kicked out. Um, what I'm not looking forward to is, as I've said several times, you know, I was supposed to be in this space for about two and a half more years and then we were gonna find a, a meat packing plant, a slaughterhouse. I'm concerned that, you know, I gotta relocate my whole life two hours away in Jersey, try to get my employees to come with me, and then I still don't have the reduced cost of goods of a slaughterhouse. I'm just in another warehouse. And I don't know if me paying the expenses on, you know, a place to live for myself and the new business is going to compromise, you know, me getting a loan on a slaughterhouse if it does come up. I don't really know. Either way, the problem is with all this crazy stuff going on here, me getting kicked out, I have to have that warehouse as a backup plan, regardless of whether I intend to use it or not. Um, there's just no other way to, to for, the, for the safety of keeping the business going. Um, it's going to be closer to my Amish buddies, which, you know, they're the most honest people I've worked with, despite still ripping me off a little bit. You know, the stuff isn't priced low enough that I would be happy with just doing business with them. I'd still want to get my own farm and do things myself down the line. Uh, you know, they, they're getting us the eggs. The, my butcher buddy is doing all the hot dogs, the sausages, the charcuterie, very, very delicious. And um, they were talking about how they actually lost their milk market last week. So they were doing some dairy, not for me, and they lost the market. So now, they're thinking of possibly making dairy products for me. So we finally got the eggs in for you guys a few months ago. 
we might be getting the dairy too. I'm not saying it 100% for sure. It's definitely on the table. It's definitely a possibility because I'd be paying the guy double what um, some, some very big corporate company goes out to these Amish farmers and offers to buy their milk at like crazy low prices, like $2 a gallon for like A282 raw grass and milk. These big conglomerates or scumbags, then they'll put that milk in the supermarket for 12 bucks a gallon. So their margins are crazy. So I'm willing to pay uh, the Amish farmers a lot more than they are. So we, we might have the dairy soon. Uh, the only issue with the dairy is the milk is very heavy to ship. So when people start ordering, you know, two or three gallons of milk to California, that's where I'm going to have to figure out the math on how, what we're going to have to price the milk at. The butter, the cream, the yogurt, all the other dairy products that aren't as heavy and are priced reasonably, yeah. The issue is that milk costs about as much to ship as it costs per gallon. So you have to like double the price of it. So it's, it, well, we'll see. I'll worry about that when we get to it, but um, keep moving forward. Hopefully the uh, more products we offer, the business becomes profitable enough that we eventually get our hands on a slaughterhouse and a farm. Then the margins get better and then we can provide people with even higher quality food at more affordable prices because you know right now things are priced higher than I'd like to offer them for and we're still not really making enough profit on the business to expand so um, we'll see we've been going for three years through all this nonsense so I haven't lost my mind yet although I've told you guys if my brain wasn't fried and I could actually speak a second language I would already be playing with some girls who don't speak English Thank you.